yeah i'm going to columbia um <laughs> just What's up YouTube, it's Kira here and we are back with another video. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Kira Ray and if you're returning, then welcome back. Guys, I'm sure you can tell by the title of this video and I'm sure that's probably why you clicked on it. Y'all, it has come true. I am moving to New York City. <laughs> this is crazy and I'm gonna get into it in a second but before we do please make sure you go ahead and hit the subscription button down below and the like button as well um also if you want to be notified whenever I post new videos and more life updates go ahead and hit that notification bell as well all right y'all let's get into it <laughs> y'all okay so 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 what's going on so as I mentioned in my last video, um, I talked about post-graduation plans and options and like figuring out what's next, la 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 um, So today I will be telling you guys all that juicy stuff. I am a graduating senior and I I am a dancer also, and I was like, okay, do I dance professionally or do I want to do something else? Um, and I want to do something else, um, <laughs> clearly. Um, and so I, back in December, I decided to apply to grad school and I applied to OU online, Boston University online, and Columbia University. Um, so the reason why I applied to Boston and OU online is because I was like, well, if I do decide to dance professionally, then I want to, I definitely for sure want to continue my education. And I knew I wanted to do that from the start because I do want to be a professor down the line and I need my master's. Like a, a BFA is not going to cover it. So I was like, I'd rather get my master's now than later because the odds of me wanting to go back to school after being out of school for so long, I wasn't really sure. So anyway, I applied to those you online because I was like yeah if I dance professionally then I can continue to do school and a lot of grad schools are like flexible with full-time workers so yeah I did that and then I also applied to Columbia and so Columbia would be in person in New York City and the idea of like going to another campus for grad school like I wasn't really for that but because it was in New York City which is where I wanted to be the place I've been manifesting um, since high school um, it just made more sense and New York City is literally the dance hub like that is where the good dancing is and back in March um, I posted a video on YouTube um, but the senior class we got to go to New York City and train with like just these amazing dancers at the Gibney Center and I was like this I want to train more like this like I th this is it this is it this is it so yeah I was like okay I would be okay with going to Columbia in person because I'll be in the city anyway which is where I want to be so I applied to these schools in December. Um, it took about like two weeks for Columbia, for OU and and Boston to get back to me, and then Columbia I found out in March. So, yeah, I got in to all three grad schools, which I am like so like just thankful for, um, because if I'm being completely honest, I applied on a whim, like. I was back at home and I was just like, Lord, like, please, like, just guide me, like, show me what I'm supposed to do next because I was just breaking down. Like, it was just a really bad time of my life and I just really, really needed guidance. And then I was driving to Starbucks one day and it was just like, apply to grad school, just apply. And I just chose three schools and I did it. And then I got in and I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> Um, yes, I will be attending Columbia University um, in New York City in the fall of 2023. I got a shirt, which I'm like, <laughs> like crazy, like crazy 
pumped about like I am so so excited like when I went and I was in the city in during spring break you know me and my best friend we toured the campus and it just it felt so right like I am all for okay if you have two options of what you want to do go place yourself in that environment because it will bring you so much clarity and even before I went on the trip I was like Lord like please please bring me clarity like please show me like what I'm supposed to be doing next in these next couple of weeks and that's exactly what he did um because I also had a company audition when I was in the city as well and when I was auditioning I didn't feel that like you know like my soul wasn't like oh my god like this is where I'm supposed to be and so yeah I'm going to Columbia um <laughs> just which is insane um I will be studying arts administration which I am extremely pumped about um, as I mentioned in my last video I've just been dancing for so long and I do have a passion for um, uplifting my community getting access to the arts as a person of color is extremely hard like I myself didn't go to a dance studio I went to a dance studio for like one year but then I stopped because like it was just too expensive and you know I got majority of my dance training from dancing in church um, and free education in public schools so I'm wanting to um, create my own like performing arts center or organization or school whatever it is school program that just allows better access to the arts for people of color. I also want to start up more technical dance programs in HBCUs because the reason why I came to PWI is because I know that the training at PWIs and the money put into dance programs at PWIs um, just will, it's just more and it's really unfair and I don't like that and um, yeah, if I could have chosen to go to HBCU, I would have, but I chose to go to a PWI because of dance. So. I want to change that for people that are coming after me so yeah i'll be studying arts administration at columbia university and i am super excited i'm also extremely nervous um and kind of scared at the same time to move to the city by myself but also at the same time i've been to new york so so many times um, and when you know that you belong somewhere like there's nothing like not enough fear in the world can pull you away from that so I'm really excited um, I it's crazy that I'm making this video right now because literally I think it was last year I made a video and I'm gonna try and find it and put it in but if I don't put it in you can just scroll through my YouTube videos and try to find it. But I made a video last year that was like, oh my gosh, I can't wait. I literally said, I can't wait to make a video that says I'm moving to New York City because I knew it was what I wanted to do. And I am making that video today on April 16th. Like, that's crazy. That's crazy. And that's God, okay? Like, oh, I'm so blessed. But yeah. <laughs> I'm so excited and I cannot wait to see where my YouTube journey goes. Yeah, I there, there's just so many amazing things that are coming and I feel it. Um, there's a ton of change happening this year. I, I already know because so much change has already occurred and it's all good change though and I'm very, very excited to see where um where god's gonna take me next and just all the opportunities that are gonna flow in from me attending this university um i have recently also been thinking about a phd um I, I, <laughs> there's not much to be said on that yet because I, mm, we still working on this bfa okay but check in with me in two years and we will see <laughs> We're gonna see what's next after that. A PhD would be pretty cool um, because, you know, we're trying to change the world, baby, okay? And if we gotta get that PhD, then we gotta get that PhD to do so, all right? What this video was about, let me look at my notes and see if I had any more talking points. Oh, um, am I quitting dance? That's a big question. Um, when I told um, like family and just like friends that I was attending the university, they were like, so, you're not dancing and I was like not professionally but I will still be dancing um, dancing is a part of me it is not something I can ever run away from I do want to teach I want to be a professor so yes I want to keep dancing um, it's just 
it is a gift that I've been given and I'm not gonna step away from that. It is, it is also a form of self-care at times um, because this is like really cheesy, but dance really does allow you to express yourself when you don't feel like talking or when you can't find the right words to say to express your emotions. So sometimes I'll just go in the studio and just improv, but I will not be quitting dance. I will still be dancing. The plan is to take classes, um, you know, just at all the dance centers in the city, Ailey, Broadway Dance Centers, Steps, um, Gibney, you know, just really building up my vocabulary and then possibly going into a company in the city. Um, I still have so much to learn dance-wise and going to the city in during spring break is what opened my eyes to that. Um, I think TCU has equipped me technically um, into taking this next step in my life, but in terms of like, just being exposed to the variety of dances out there like i haven't had that exposure um honestly since high school so i'm just i'm just eager to learn i just want to learn as much as i can i love learning and i love being challenged and i love being the um person i this sounds really bad being the person at the bottom um not saying that like I am below people or there's like a superior inferior kind of thing going on but I just love being in a room where people are smarter than me because it gives me the opportunity to learn to grow and mature from those that are wiser and yeah I don't want to be the smartest person in the room I don't want to be the best dancer in the room like no I want someone next to me that's like kicking my butt and I'm like oh my god okay I'm gonna dance like you so Yes, all in all, I am not going to stop dancing. I am going to go to school and continue my training in the city. And there will be many YouTube videos, of course. Y'all already y'all already know y'all coming with me. <laughs> That's pretty much it. I will be making more videos, you know, um, or I guess one more video about my decision to go to Columbia and I guess I guess I'll make one of those videos that's like, how did I get in kind of thing. Um, there really is no secret, but we'll get into that in the next video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments down below. Um, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.